What's up guys, it's Ryan here from Mud Gunner. We are here at Industry Day at the Range at Shot Show in Vegas. It is very windy, so I'm using porta potties as cover to kind of help block the wind. But yeah, we're gonna shoot some cool guns today, hopefully. I just drove in from Arizona last night. It's crazy, I've had a busy few days. Saturday I did Zona in Arizona, the AZ Range Day. Yesterday I did a marathon and then I drove here and now we're here in Vegas for Shot Show. But let's see what they have to shoot today. Every time. Yeah. Now, does it not go into the safe when you're done firing? Okay. Oh, now it did. It wouldn't go into safe after. It doesn't. It doesn't on the belt. Got it. Because it won't. It doesn't send up. Uh, oh, send it. Carry your back. Just send the hammer. Got it. Cool. That's really awesome. Thank you so much. Belt fed in an AR is pretty cool. That was that was very easy to shoot. Nice. That's really nice. Thank you so much. A little bit clumsy and oh yeah. So this is the Marlin 1895 SBL from Ruger now, and this one's suppressed and it's got a Leopold scope on there. But I'm excited to shoot it. So we have the Marlin 1895 Trapper and the SBL. And they both look beautiful. And now Ruger owns Marlin is, and is producing these. And then you have one man target in here. Yep, yep. Shoot that one. Okay. Yep. Then you have the blue squared target. Yep. And take the one out to the left. The left blue? Yep. Okay, shoot again. Yep, hit that. And then you see underneath that target, if you look underneath it, you see a black target further out. Yeah, yeah, shoot that one. Then I compensate for the distance, I compensate for the wind. Uh, left one or the one just below it? Just blue. Okay. Aim 10 to center. I think I was just below it. I should be an aim center and then really squeeze the trigger. Yeah, now we're going out to 460 yards. Okay. And these targets are all the way in the back. Okay. It's blue target. And you have one square target far out to the left. The first target that you will see. Okay. Find it and let me know. Yeah, sure. yeah. I will jump into my spotting scoop. Here is really important. Aim center, center target, squeeze trigger. Okay, okay go ahead. Yeah, it was in the top of the target. I saw that. So aim center, center. Okay, cool. Go again. Cool. That was it. 
Thank you so much. That's really nice. What magnifier is the eight? Six pack. Six pack? Okay. Cool. Thank you. Thank you. So, Daniel Defense 308 with an 8 point Comp M5B and then a 8 point 6 power magnifier and 460 yards was the furthest target. But it's kind of windy and some of my shots went just above it, so I aimed a little bit lower. He kept telling me to aim center, but I aimed lower and then I hit it. So. A lot of these lines are either really long or they're guns that are here every year. And I'm trying to shoot stuff that's different. So I feel like this year's video is gonna be a little bit smaller on the range day because there's not as much to shoot or the lines are very long. But honestly, there's nothing that's like extremely new to me. Like it's all similar stuff or just slight different variations. But hopefully you guys still enjoy. Again, it's very windy. Uh, right now it's starting to rain again. And yeah, I still enjoy it. I love shooting guns. So any day to shoot guns for free, it's a win in my book. All right, I'm ready if you are. All right, so this is the RAA 5.0. This is our latest and greatest gun. Engineered from the ground up, completely custom to be an amazing gun to shoot. We're targeting the competition shooters market. Out of the box, from the factory, this is going to be a perfect competition gun. We have a vertical locking system here at the front of the gun and a square barrel that keeps everything nice and accurate. See the low slide, low center of gravity, keeps everything from getting a muzzle flip. All the weight here at the front is gonna come with a four and a half pound trigger, 17 round, nine millimeter magazines, available with irons and with a Seymour optic. Sweet, that's awesome. Thank you, yeah. I can't wait to shoot it. <laughs> oh yeah. All right, Rock Island 5.0. It's officially very windy, very cold, and it's raining. But when I did my marathon yesterday in Arizona, the first six miles it was pouring, and now it's starting to pour here. But it's fun. I don't mind bad weather. I'm at Springfields Bay, and they just called a ceasefire, and all these uh, range officers are running down the ranges, and I'm pretty sure they're telling everyone to ceasefire because it's raining, there's thunder, and lightning in the distance, but it'll kind of suck if they cut it short, but I understand. So, hopefully I got enough footage for you guys. So, as of right now, there's a full range ceasefire throughout the entire event, which is kind of a bummer. Range is going hot again. Luckily, I thought they were going to cancel it, so get back to shooting. DR920L, which is a Glock 34 size.
setting. First four of our enemy is uh, competition. Five five six K flow can. Okay. That's nice. Carbon research cans. And these things weigh nothing. They're so light, the 22 can will blow away in the wind. That weighs 2.3 ounces. Wow. That's uh, all carbon fiber and aluminum. Okay. There's your 9 millimeter can. That's nice. I'm just trying to get the... Oh, yeah. Okay, so that's the 9 millimeter can. Okay. And it weighs... With the Nielsen device. Okay. And it's uh, carbon fiber and titanium. But if you notice what's different between this suppressor and most carbon fiber suppressors that you see, usually just the outer tube is carbon fiber. Uh huh. Look close here, you can yeah. see all of the baffles are made out of carbon fiber as well. Now, do they last a pretty good while? This has over 6,000 rounds gone through. Wow. So I like to think yes. <laughs> okay. I wanted you to wait until he was shooting oh, so yeah, you could fine. see how... No, he's done. Take one of your ears out so yep, you can Yeah, I got hear. this one out. Okay. Now, tell me what you think after this. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like it went off. That's the problem. Do it again. There you go. Oh, God damn. I got it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Take one of your ears out. So yeah, you I got hear. this one out. Okay. Now tell me what you think after this. Right. Oh wow. <laughs> it doesn't even sound like it went off. That's the problem. Do it again. There you go. Oh, God. I got it. All right. <laughs> That's crazy. Do one more. What do you think? It feels like a toy. I know. Like. What do you think? It feels like a toy. I know. Wow. That's, an, that's, that's, that's one of the quietest 22s I've ever shot. Yeah. And that's you a wanna, carbon fiber suppressor. Yep. Would you like to try the knot? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's what I figured out. All right. I have no ear, and on this one, it's just hanging okay. Out. Uh, just trip. don't go to auto. Just stay on E. One click down. Oh, okay. I know. If you want to feel like it's. Pretty good shot. <laughs> Thank you. You shot this before? Thank yeah, you. I have one. Uh, Not, it doesn't have the fun switch. Oh, yeah. But, yeah. Oh, you got the SP89? Uh, no, I have an HK. SP5 that I had remarked to MP5. Okay, cool. That's cool. Thank what, you so you, what do you think of it? I like it. That's quiet. Is that 147 grain or is that 115 grain? Or? 147, yeah. Okay. Cool. That's definitely suppressed ammo. Yeah. It sounded like it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Is it going? Yep. It's yeah, it's recording. going. All right. Those carbon research cans were pretty cool. Um, the 9mm and the 300 was pretty accurate at the distance I was shooting at, which wasn't very far. 
that 22 can, so I was aiming dead center at a steel plate like 15 yards in front of me, and I don't think it was hit. So, and I can shoot other caliber, so I don't think I'm gonna miss with the 22, unless that optic was really like off, but I kept aiming center mass, and I could see on the dirt out to a distance, they were hitting in different spots, so. I don't know if that gun or suppressor combination is inaccurate, but I feel like it wasn't aiming, or it wasn't hitting where I was aiming, so. But I don't, that's four, three or four rounds through it, so that's not enough to say if it's good or not, but it was definitely quiet. Geisley chambered in six mil arc. Like no recoil at all. Yeah, right? Pretty smooth. That's really nice. Thank you. So this is the Lago Arms. Yeah, about the, just the strong hand. Alright, now we got a suppressed alien with a BNT suppressor. That's really nice. Oh, you got a three pin receiver just like Type 56 is. The furniture, like, I've actually got an old 56 and the furniture even feels like it has almost the exact same glossy feel to it. Yeah, that's very clean looking.
That's really cool, and that looks Alright guys, range day is wrapping up. I hope I got enough footage for you guys. That rain put a slight delay on it, but luckily they were able to get everything back up and running, and it was a great time as usual. Alright, stay tuned for my next video.